I need some inside information. Fisherman Alex Sutherland caught his first salmon from the loch 50 years ago and knows much of the centuries-old folklore that surrounds this mysterious lake. There's something different about the place. There's something more than just a natural phenomena. There's a presence. And, of course, the story about how Loch Ness arrived. You may be surprised, but it wasn't always a, a, a body of water here. It was a pleasant green valley with farms and crofts and good land. And at the bottom of the valley, there was a very special well. And the locals had strict instructions from their then holy men to always replace the lid on this well when you took water from it. And of course, what would happen but one day, there was a lady down from Glen Urquhart from the Croft, and she was getting her water from the well when one of her children uh, cried from the slope. And she turned, she ran back up the slope, but she left the lid off the well. And of course, what happened? But the well began to overflow. And try as they might, they couldn't put the lid back on the well. So eventually, the water spread, became the loch you see now. And when people said, what happened to the place? They said in Gaelic, ah, ha loch au nish, which means there's a loch in it now. So that was how Loch Nish, Loch Ness, uh, got its name. And we never saw the farms or the crofts ever again. I mean, it, it is a very atmospheric place, isn't it? Uh, you've got the mountains, you've got the, the deep water, you've got a castle. So for a lot of visitors, presumably, this does tend to get the imagination going. Yes, and as we say in Gaelic, Ulavist Loch Nish. The monster of Loch Ness may be there as well. Going back further in legend, the water kelpie, the fabled water horse that would come out of a body of water and run away with your children and submerge again, was a very real fear in the minds of early settlers. Have you ever seen anything unusual as on the loch? Well, you're not the first person to ask me that. I've got an open mind, and uh, it may well be there's something I've yet to see out there. <laughs>